These signs popped up in the neighborhood and while Facebook went negative, uh, my mind went straight to the scooters. I remember seeing on the Genuine Scooter Company website on the FAQ section that their scooters, speedometers, all were five miles per hour over what they actually would go. And that just kind of put a little niggle in my brain, so to speak. And then I remember seeing on a Facebook group about somebody else's scooter wasn't going the speed that they thought. When I saw this, I had to go check it out. Are all scooters like this? Renee here from ScootersForNewbies.com and that's Rich. He's gonna be a model for the video. And while I don't have access to all the scooters that I'd love to, but I do have access to a few. Right now I've got a genuine scooter, Vespa, and a couple of Kimcos to play around with this speed limit sign. First up, the Kimco Lite. And it looks like this one's a little bit off if we're holding that 30 miles per hour. And here's the AK-550. <laughs> FYI, we're riding by this thing a couple of times to get an average, because it actually is kind of hard to hold 30 exactly. Next up, the Vespa GTS 300. Last but certainly not least for the scooter experiment here is the Genuine Scooter Company Buddy Kick. To pretend this is a super scientific experiment, we also tested out the sedan. It looks like all of the scooters are wrong from that 30 mile per hour limit that we were trying to hold. Since we're supposed to be keeping up with traffic as a way to stay safe, you might need to speed up your scooter just a little bit to at least just be doing the speed limit. That said, keep your head on a swivel and ride at the speed that's safe for the conditions that you're riding in. I would genuinely appreciate if you would subscribe and bonus if you like it too. Be seen and be safe scooter friends.